So one of the most fun things to do is to take audio from pretty much any source and get it into Ableton somehow and then mess with it. But a lot of times the getting it into Ableton part can be kind of frustrating and annoying. For instance, if you want to take a quote from a movie that you could you know, extract the audio from the movie and then have like an hour and a half long audio clip to hunt through, or you could set up your microphone for just that moment and then press play on the movie and then press play on the microphone. And, or you could route your output of like the secondary output from your headphones, from your sound card into a secondary input and then record that. And so there's, it's a big hassle a lot of the time, but thankfully on OSX, there's this little app called Soundflower that allows you to route audio from application to application. So this application is right here in GitHub. And once you download it, you can install it. It's a very small little program. I will not install it because I've already installed it. And then, but after you install it, you need to restart your computer. And then usually if you click here, you just get a volume control. And if you alt click, you get your inputs and outputs. And you should see Soundflower now. So if you click output Soundflower, now any audio going through your Mac whether it be it through your browser or anything is going to go through Soundflower. So right now, if we go and click on the GOAT video, we won't hear anything because the audio is being routed through Soundflower and we're not listening to Soundflower right now. So what we need to do next is to set up a multi-output device in our audio MIDI setup. So find your audio, audio MIDI setup. And you'll see your built-in output in your Soundflower. And if you have an external sound card, you'll see that here as well. But click multi output device. And then you want to add Soundflower and your built in output together. And so now, if we select multi output device, we'll hear the goats. <laughs> or Netflix or Ass Machine or whatever you have. So now we need to go into Ableton, open up preferences, and make sure the audio input is set to Soundflower. And if you're not seeing the same Ableton stuff, make sure your input output is up. And now we go and play the goats. <laughs> or John Mulaney. <laughs> or Acid Machine. have to deal with the dumbest people so then you just have your clip right in Ableton and then you can <laughs> instead of having to you know go through a whole bunch of other steps it's already right in there and again this can be used with anything that generates sound on your computer so it's a pretty good source for lots of weirdness so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and Soundflower and the multi output device have a good day